I surprised myself that I'm getting into this subject because I thought that this was something completely unimportant to me. But I realize that this is kind of going with what I'm doing so far and focusing less on the state to postpone the four part video series and more on the left and right dichotomy so we're going to talk about individualism which is something that I really I'm not an individualist but I'm just talking about it because some people need to get it straight what it means and why they're using it incorrectly. Now, to be an individualist isn't to be original, it's about following your own personal preferences. So, you're not gonna like make a band that no one's ever heard of and listen to it just because, well, listen to it exclusively just because you want to sound original in your tastes. That's ridiculous. Now, you could just like a band because it's your personal taste and you've already achieved that. I don't know if people are just going to retort this, but that's the way it makes sense. Individualism has nothing to do with being original or doing something no one else has done. It's about personal preferences. I don't know why people keep saying this bullshit. It's really starting to annoy that living fuck out of me. And this is why. Now, getting out of the minor philosophy and into the more political branch of philosophy you'll realize that um, most individualists are becoming more and more anti-conservative and pro-liberal like it's that reverse because the conservative has very soft values he has the easier things he's Pro life and all this trivial crap, and then people go and say, "Well, it doesn't matter." So shift to this paradigm. That's hypocritical. So yeah, it doesn't matter if it fetus dies; it's just a fetus. So sh sh sit, wait, switch to my pro-choice paradigm. It's a very douchey, liberal douchey thing to do. I wouldn't support anti-liberalism using the same means, would I? Yet, yeah, that's the dumbest thing I can think of. That these two dichotomies are against each other. I said two videos ago, three videos ago, that I was pro left and right paradigm. I think it's good for rhetoric. It's good for empowering people who aren't really into philosophy or more into getting a good scope of ideology and identity yeah ide ideological identity issues but I'm not pro bashing another dichotomy I'm not pro bashing the right I'm not pro bashing the left I don't do that I certainly don't advocate the middle or bash that middle. The way I see it, you suit three branches or two branches or whatever fuck branches or renditions of those branches are for giving you a nice little pseudo political identity which maybe someone with good political views can put your personal trivial tastes into that identity so for someone to use individualism as a means of bashing another 
identity by saying it can only exist as that identity. That's like if I say that anarchists can only be left or mid ground. They can't be right. That'd be fucked up. And that'd be untrue. Because it failed to comprehend what the term anarchism means. It's just society devoid of the state. The state doesn't form solely by the right. And it can't be something that's the right can never be devoid of. As with individualism, I said it's personal preferences. It has nothing to do with originality. Now, following your personal preferences, what can we say about this? If your personal preferences are towards the mid card, the left, or right, then that's okay. All in all, I really don't. I think my videos have been getting slightly more fast paced, but that's because I'm scripting all of this now. Moderately, I'm not scripting the entire thing, I'm just pushing fragments of what I should do in case I forget what my ideas are. But anyway, this video is pretty much over with, I'm going to make a kind of smackdown recap tomorrow. Saturday I'll continue with part 3 of the 4 part video series and part 4 as well.